odd functions. Guess what? It's the same test. G of negative x. So now I'm going to plug in negative x again. And we test it out. And here we get negative x times the square root of 1 minus x squared. Now I'm going to factor out a negative, just so you guys can see something. And this is an example of a odd function. The reason being why this is odd is because when you plug in f of negative x, you're not going to get back the original equation. That's even functions. But if you get back the opposite of the function, it's an odd function. And you guys can see this is opposite of the original function. Now again, you might say, well, god, I'm not going to remember that. Well, let's look at this graphical. Let's pick, a very odd, let's pick a very easy function that would be odd. Let's pick cubing, the cubic function, or the, yeah, the cubic function. That is an odd function. It's symmetrical about the origin. So again, let's pick, let's do 2. So here's x, and let's just say x is equal to 2. So x, so 2 cubed is equal to what? 2 times 2 times 2? 8. So whatever you plug in, that's f of x, which in this case is 8. Right? My, don't mind the scale. Well, what about when I plug in negative 8, or negative 2, I'm sorry? I get f of x here, which is equal to negative 8. So you guys see how it's the opposite? It's the same value, but it's the opposite. Yes? So when you plug in a negative x and you get back the exact opposite, it's not. It's, it's an odd function. 